hello in this tutorial i want to show you how you can easily color grade two or more people in one photo so i got this question from one of the subscribers and they're asking me how can you color grade an image with two different people do you color grade each at one point and you color grade the next person in different steps or you do it as a whole so this tutorial is going to be answering that very question and and if at all you find it helpful don't forget to like this video so that the youtube algorithm can push and recommend this video to so many people out there who are interested in learning how to color grade using capture one so right now i'm using capture 121 and if at all you want the full version you can as well pay for a license remember it is not free if at all you want all the features so right now i'm in capture 121 and that is what i'm going to be using to answer that question and in this you're also going to learn how to color grade your images simply and very easily so let's just get in to today's tutorial so right now what i tend to do when it comes to color grading within capture one the very first thing i tend to do is coming to the high dynamic range and i simply take the highlights down and i also do the same for my whites so if i told you i'm missing any adjustment as i'm working along you can simply right click and you get come to add tool and add whichever tool you're missing in your capture one so what i'm going to do i'm just going to come to the blacks and simply darken the blacks then open up my shadows slightly to get back information within the darkest areas of the image so after that i'm just going to come and add a slight bit of contrast then i'm going to come down to levels just pushing my levels to add some contrast to the image so that is all for the basic adjustments you can as well add a slight bit of clarity to your image so that looks okay and it looks great to me so like in photoshop also in capture one we also have layers so when it comes to color grading remember we are dealing with skin tones and remember skin tones fall within a range of magentas reds oranges so if at all you take those into consideration when you, even if you're working with people with varying skin complexions and you apply a given color grading to one of them remember it is also going to be affecting the second person so i'm just going to come to the plus icon and i create a new field adjustment layer remember when you're applying that on a new field adjustment layer it means that the color grading is going to be global and it's going to affect the overall image in this case so if at all you don't want to color grade or change given colors within the photo you can get your eraser tool and simply paint wherever you don't want to color grade in the photo so this is why i'm going to be doing the color grading so i create a new field adjustment layer so I, I can just simply rename it to color grade so after doing that i'm just going to come to all the way down with that color grade layer selected i'm just going to come down to where it says color color editor and under color editor i'm just going to come to skin tone and with skin tone selected i'm just going to come and click on the color picker tool or eyedropper tool so for these two models you can see that they have those ranges of colors that i was showing you all talking about earlier on in this tutorial you can see we have some bit of magentas we have some bit of yellows we have a little bit of greens and we have some tiny bit of reds so that is what skin tones is all about so if at all i get my color picker tool right here and i simply get a reference remember we just want to get a reference and even out the skin color we are not going to be changing colors but we just want to blend all the colors that are within the skin tone so when you apply it on one model it means that it's also going to be applied onto the second model so i'm just going to come and i get a reference point for this and i'm just going to choose just this area and as soon as i click on it you can see when i scroll down here we, you can see why it says view selected color range and as soon as i tick or check that option it is going to desaturate all the other colors within the image and leave the colors that fall within that range that we just selected so the area we have selected is going to be the reference point and we just want to make the skin tone all the skin tones for both models look very even so one adjustment on the colors is it is going to affect also the adjustments on the second model so if at all you are blending colors of one model that is also going to be 
blending the colors onto the second model so i'm just going to come right here to where it says uniformity i'm just going to zoom out command minus to zoom out and come to the hue slide and simply start taking it up just like that and uh, as i'm doing that you're going to notice that the skin color is going to start looking or blending and getting to look uniform so i'm just going to come the saturation and i'm going to as well take the saturation up just like that so i'm just going to zoom out slightly and as you can see the skin is now getting to look better but you can still notice that the skin color is a little bit different but the skin color is looking uniform so we are not changing the colors or the original skin color but we're just trying to even out and get a uniform skin color or skin tones for both models so i'm just going to come the hues and just take it up also and come to the saturation and also take it up and you can see this is going to make the skin look a little bit even so right now the skin looks even but remember we still have a little bit more of the magenta so in order to deal with that we're just going to come to the amount option and you can either add more magentas to the image depending on what you're looking at on your screen or you can even add the opposite of magentas which is the green color so for this case i'm just going to add a tiny bit of green by moving it towards the opposite of magenta which is the green and that is going to make the skin pop and look better so i'm just going to use Control command minus to zoom out so after doing that i'm going to come to the color balance and since i want the shadow areas to have that kind of cinematic feel to it i'm just going to come the shadows and simply take the shadows towards uh the science or the blue side just like that and it's going to cool down the image a little bit more and this looks great but it has made the skin a little bit pale so i'm just going to come the midtones and come and add a little bit of oranges to my midtones just like that and it's going to make the image look better in this case so let me just zoom in so that you can see a skin better so this is what we have and let's look at a quick before and after so this was the image before and this is the after before after we have not altered or changed the skin color completely but we have just blended or had an even skin color or skin tone for both models so basically this is how i do the color grading for two models and when you feel like you'd want to eliminate a given color from the image for example from the lipstick just simply come and get with the color grade layer selected you can get your eraser tool right here and you can use or press m on the keyboard and that, that is going to show you a new field mask and simply come and paint over where you don't want to change or the areas you don't want to change completely remember the lipstick originally was red and it had some red so when you're color grading the skin tones the lipstick may also be affected in the due process or maybe the eyeshadow so you can just come using the eraser tool and simply eliminate the color grading from the eyeshadow and the lip area in order to retain the original color of the makeup after doing that you just press back you press m again and it's going to reveal back the image the way it was meant to be and when you're done doing that if at all you feel like the color grading is intense just come the opacity and reduce on the opacity depending on what you're going in for as a creator so this is how i color grade two or more models in the same photo and if at all you love this tutorial don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet more amazing trails and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating